Krista Norris here for this week's Sunday Sermon. Um, I'm an intuitive transformational healer and rapid ascension coach, and I am here to help you shape your world through deep, incredible soul and core level healing, whether it's related to this life or any other. Um, all so that you can experience release, freedom, and joy, and bring in love and compassion for you to help you achieve your dreams. So that's what I do. <laughs> and um, I have, this is my weekly series, Sunday Sermon, um, that I began in January of this year and I was guided to. And I do these every week to share insights and wisdom with and for all of you. So yeah, and thank you so much again for all the comments um, I receive. Knowing that these are help to so many of you around the world, it means the world to me. So thank you. Um, you'll see it's dusk time ba, 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 when I'm recording this. And it's an interesting one because I'm currently in England uh, staying with a friend. And, <coughs> excuse me, I got, got a cough. And uh, uh, the cough is moving through me. <laughs> better way to put it. Picking your words is um, just quick tip. Picking your words, our words have intention. Words carry energy and focus. So choosing and thinking about thinking about the words and the words that you, you, cho you choose to describe your life and to express yourself. Uh, you know, just a little food for that. Um, because it can hold a lot of resonance and power. So that, that, that. Uh, it's dusk time and it's been an interesting one for me because um, I lived in England for close to 15 years <laughs> and last year with all of my traveling around um, across Europe primarily by house and pet sitting I was in southern Europe which is a lot sunnier um, and longer daylight hours during the winter time in, in autumn and so I have forgotten what this is like. <laughs> I was saying to my friend the other day that I forgot how dark it gets and it's funny my body is taking time to acclimate and I realized today that it's a little bit like hibernation. My body, um, I find I'm wanting to sleep more during the daylight hours which okay that's fine if you can do it but it can make for antisocial Krista. <laughs> so you know, and I feel better when I get more daylight hours as well, as much as I can. I need the vitamin D. Um, we all, each of us as human beings, we need that vitamin D. So anyway, so I've been having an interesting time finding a balance that works for me. And it means that today I've been up during the day doing things. Hurrah! <laughs> as much as I wanted to, I should say. I am up during the daytime, but... Um, I'm, I'm happy I've had as many hours as I wanted to today. And, um, yeah, so it means I'm recording this in the dusk. So you're getting an interesting shot, everyone. But I'll show you. I hope you can see this. I hope it's not too dark. Yeah, you can, you can kind of see it. <laughs> it's really beautiful surrounded by countryside and what I feel guided to share with and for all of you today more than just Christmas hibernation hours <laughs> during the winter but it's also all about really taking care of yourself so what does your body need your energy need what does your soul need in order to feel safe to know that you belong and that you will be loved. Because in the, um, the transformational coaching method, which is the specific type of coaching that I'm trained in, I'm trained in a lot of different energy healing, um, Kashuk readings, Kashuk records, which is helps with your past life and so on. Past lives, I should say, parallel lives, future. Um, but uh, the I'm gonna go this way, actually. Cause it's, I think that's a dead end back there. Um, um, so in the transformational coaching method, part of what I'm trained in is learning and realizing that each of us, just as human beings, part of how we're wired, 
um, and you know our brains in conjunction with our soul and our energy and so on is that we each need to know that we will be loved that we are loved we need to know that we're safe our physical safety our 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 immediate primal body need safety and also that we belong so we belong to those we care about we're a part of a group whatever that group is for us and um, that we're not going to be alone essentially and so as we go through life as each of us does as I do as you as I do you do we all do we consistently get challenged we get challenged by the things we do, the projects we take on, the, the life we choose to lead, how we go forward in our business and our relationships, um, what are our, our hobbies, how do we spend our time. Whenever any of us makes changes in our lives and we go forward, even if it's an interaction that we know will be good for us and we know we're excited for and ultimately will help us to achieve our dreams, there is always and can be an element of risk because going forward with your dreams and so on, that can change things, right? Even if the change is a positive one, even if it's one that means you'll, you will achieve your dreams, it still means you'll be going through a changing process. And sometimes those deeper parts can feel afraid can feel a little bit scared of what might may happen for you for them all those parts of you um, when and if that change takes place so that's a bit of what has been going on for me um, this week and it's going on for a lot of us actually with talking to people I know I'm not the only one <laughs> who is um, really up leveling because that's also what the change process is called it's an up level you are raising your standards. You are raising your ability and increasing your ability to create the world and the life that you dream of. You are increasing your, your talents, your skill sets, let's say. You are increasing your ability to achieve things and to be the person that you wish to be, to be the change, as Gandhi said. Um, and... So a lot of us are going through incredible up-leveling opportunities and a lot of change is happening. All for the, you know, the best, um, absolutely. But, you know, as I've shared, <coughs> these changes can bring about parts of us that begin to feel a little bit afraid because it's just the unfamiliarity. Just, you know, simply and not knowing exactly what the end will be because it's different this life you're creating for yourself, this world you are beginning to envelop and be a part of and to embrace and bring into your, into your life, all of that is new. And it's that newness and the unfamiliarity that can just make some of the parts of you a little bit uneasy just because they don't know what to expect. Um, and that is certainly something I've been experiencing. And it's interesting how all of this plays out. Because what can happen with all of this is that when those parts of us begin to feel a little bit uncertain or unsure, they can do things and we can find ourselves, just find ourselves, in quotes, in situations <coughs> that remind us of where we used to be, that can, can have the, pos the potential, doesn't mean they will, but have the potential to take us back to a place that doesn't feel good that reminds us of what we are seeking to move through and from and past and and can get us to a place that feels further away from our dreams. One example of this is something I will share with you from my own life experience, which is um, a really amazing client who has come to me, um, an amazing, amazing woman. I've actually known her for a long time. And um, she's incredible. <laughs> I am so excited to work with her and to be able to support her. And I'm honored that she would like to work with me as well. It means so much um, for a lot of different reasons. And, and so for several months, we've been going back and forth with her investment. Um, there have been loads of issues with it getting through to me. Um, 
And, you know, I finally did. It finally came through, rather. And, you know, on my end, because all of these things have an energetic component, it's hardly ever that we go through um, these really big learning curves or learning experiences, this up-leveling, without there being something energetically flowing through it, a thread, um, that is providing an opportunity for us to learn, for you to learn. And often it can be a reminder of something you've already gone through, something you've already experienced that may have been difficult. And maybe you're holding on um, to trauma or pain um, as a result of it. I'm just going to move a little bit to get more light. And so for me, I know this. (laughs) And so when there started to be difficulties with this person's um, investment getting through to me, I looked at what could be going on within because whatever we hold and feel within will be and is and can be reflected in the world around us and vice versa what is it going on in the world around us can be and usually often is a reflection of something that we're holding on inside an opportunity for us to learn something some sort of awareness opportunity so i've been doing a lot of deep healing a lot of um uh, akashic record past life future life parallel life Uh, examining and healing. I've been clearing energy, um, you know, looking at exactly what's going on for me on a daily basis. And and so with all of that, I'm so honored and so thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit Guide and Source and T-Spirit Team. Um, Because, and and all the person that makes me me, thank you, (laughs) because um, her investment came through. Um, I think the day before yesterday, I noticed it, the evening before yesterday. (coughs) <coughs> and so I was very excited and um, you know that money has the investment has gone to incredible places where it's needed to go and then what happened um, is there I began to have little bits of fear little bits of fear about oh no have I I've, have I budgeted incorrectly have I messed that up have I overspent here Or, oh no, does that mean I'm not going to be able to get it over here when actually they're waiting for this and they really need it? And, um, and so those sorts of fears began to come up. And of course I, you know, I addressed them each as in, um, when they did and I could feel there was something going on. And I, you know, I, I sought help and guidance from source, my spirit guide team. So that happened. Then my keys um, my key chain, I should say, and the key for where I'm um, staying with my friend, that has gone missing, <laughs> which is funny. And I know it will come up. I'm sure it will turn up. Um, her youngest son has a little bit of a knack for, she calls it posting things. He likes to pretend he's he's putting envelopes in a post box or a mailbox. So uh, things show up in random boxes and so on. <laughs> so I'm sure it'll turn up. I'm sure it's fine. But but that was interesting. And um, and so yesterday, as a part of my daily practice, because I do do um, energy work and healing work for myself every day, just, you know, whatever I, I can feel and sense I need, whatever's coming up, um, I started to do that. And um, I could sense and feel that little Krista, as I call her, so this is the younger version of myself, which each of you have as well, by the way, you will have as a part of you, your younger self. And little Krista was starting to feel a little bit uncertain, a little bit afraid of all these changes. And the extra amount of abundance um, coming in with this client's investment Another thing I should mention that I've been doing with all of the energy clearing and healing and so on in the weeks when there were difficulties with her investment, um, part of what I've been doing is bringing in and allowing myself to feel (laughs) in all the parts that make me me greater amounts of love because love is what helps our world. It flows through everything. (laughs) Excuse me. Love is a greater component, one of the greatest components of abundance, success, self-acceptance, self-love, of course, romantic love, of course, um, harmony, peace, contentment, being centered and grounded. Love flows through all of these things. And, And so I've known that as I clear things 
it would be useful and actually those things needed to be healed and cleared and released in order to experience more of the feeling and the energy of love love itself which is what I've been doing and excuse me so little Krista I I could sense and feel she was starting to feel a little bit uncertain a little bit afraid so yesterday as a part of my daily practice I mean every day I ground I meditate I take time to to just center myself and and see whatever needs to come and in little Krista started to feel uncertain about all of this abundance all of this extra abundance of love and um, a greater level and a higher level there are many this client is amazing there are also a lot of other things happening a lot of really big steps for my business um, a lot of movement is going on and it's really exciting and I'm going with it um, it does you know it can bring up some fears it can bring up some fears so little Krista was feeling a little bit afraid of all the change and what might happen you know again change is is the unfamiliarity really um so I was looking at what can I do to help her feel better so she's less afraid and part of what I realized is that she was really uncertain and afraid of what the energy of love itself felt like in in her body and in herself in her soul so what I did was a little exercise with my spirit guide, um, one of my spirit guides um, from Planet Venus, lovely, lovely soul. Um, I call her Dora. Uh, that's the name she said I could call her. So anyhow, there was a little exercise that I did for little Krista where um, kind of wrapped little Krista in this beautiful pink bubble, <laughs> um, sort of translucent, glistening, glittery, I, I should say. Um, and, um, you know, just to allow that love energy to really flow in and flow in in a gentle, loving way. And little Crystal wanted me to hold her during this process because she was really uncertain. So I did. And, you know, and I can feel and I know that that is a part of what is continuing to get me used to and all the parts that make me me used to this greater amount of love. And therefore, greater amounts of abundance, of visibility, of stepping up and even more greatly into my path and where I'm at in my, my journey and my business and so on. And that, so that's just a little tip for each of you, if it helps. And I hope it does. You know, it, it's really, really common. Again, it's so common um, to begin to feel uncertain or afraid when things come up that we're not sure of. There's a dog you can hear in the background. Someone's walking their dog and the dog's like, what? You're not supposed to be in my patch. <laughs> You're not usually here. Um, so that's what that was. But, you know, and again, that's a really good allegory, actually. That's a great symbol for exactly what I'm talking about. That whenever things um, come up, it's so common that there can be aspects of us that just feel uncertain and feel afraid and want to protect ourselves from what <coughs> excuse me that change may bring in and so something you can do really easily is such as what I did is just to ask yourself and it may not be your little self it may be you know maybe an older version of you it might be a part of your body you know it's afraid let's say it's afraid of re-injury if you're starting to run and you're training for a marathon and you have a a past injury it might be a part of your body that's thinking oh we really don't want to injure ourselves again you know whatever is going on you can literally just ask that part what is happening for you how are you feeling what can I do what can we do to help and and so I hope this is a help to you you know there's so much going on in our world so many changes for each and every one of us um, all over and as we each step into our greatness, as we each look at what we can do to help our communities, to help our families, to be um, more at peace with and for ourselves, there can be aspects of us and aspects of one another that can feel a little bit uncertain of all of that, wondering if we can trust in it, wondering if we can have faith and know that it's okay for that direction to go forward, even if the greater aspects of you, greater parts of you, and your logical side can see that actually, yes, th 
those changes are going to take you, you know, in each of us in the direction that we want to be going in and in the direction of our dreams and ultimately love and connectiveness and, um, you know, being at peace with one another. So, yeah, so I hope that this is a help for each and every one of you. And again, you know, just ask, ask that part of you, whatever, whoever, whatever part it is, what do you need right now? And then give them that as much as you can and you know whatever it is just pay attention to it it may not be energy healing maybe it's going for a walk outside maybe it's a warm bath um my friend who I'm staying with she went swimming with a friend of hers the other night and she came back and she said she felt amazing incredible she asked if I could babysit her boys while she did and I said yes of course I'll make us in your home of course of course I can do that and um and she came back and said it felt incredible. She felt like a changed woman. You know, so it doesn't need to be something massive. It may be something really simple. And so, you know, allow yourself that gift. You know, the more that we do these things for ourselves, the more we step up, the more we listen to what our emotions and feelings are telling us, the, the more we do not demonize these aspects of ourselves, you know, whether you call it an ego or id or whatever these are all beautiful parts of ourselves and you know the more we can listen and we can help them to learn to adapt for where we are now and to see that these incredible changes don't need to be anything to be afraid of the more we can step forward in grace harmony and yes love <laughs> all right i'm sending you all so much love speaking of and I am here for you. If any of you ever has any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch. I'm incredibly happy to help. And um, my contact details are at the end of all of these videos. And, you know, if you would like support and help in your world, I am here. A really incredible part of my path and why I'm here on this planet right now in this body with the talents I have, the things I've been through as well, is it, that it's allowed me to realize my one of my number one soul gifts is that of a healer. So it's perfect that that's part of what I do to help all of you. So if you would like help, if you would like support, even if you're just curious and have some questions, get in touch. I'm really happy to have a conversation with you and we can go from there. I'm sending you so much love, everyone. All the best. And remember, you really can create your own destiny and the life of your dreams shape your world because we and all of us in the world need you too. Bye everyone.